previously on Sazzle's Spring Refresh Home Office Edition. Uh, let's see, where's the paint? Paint. <laughs> We're looking for this rug. Ooh, it's perfect. Yeah. More space on the right, think it would work? Perfect, order it. Perfect, okay. I will go ahead and sizzle it right now. Sizzle it up. All right, so today we have our paint swatches all up, ready to go. I'm gonna start taping so that Matt can go to the store, get the paint, and then when he comes back, we'll be ready to prime and everything. We gotta prime this chalkboard. We washed all the chalk off. There are some like little divots we're gonna fill and some little like spots over there that we took things off we're gonna fill with spackle. Let's get started taping. Um, I'm excited to get started on this. So we're all done taping. Next we're gonna prime this chalk paint that was painted on this part of the wall using a little primer. It goes a long way with covering stuff like this. Choosing a dark paint color in a room can be pretty intimidating, mm -hmm. but it can really, really transform a room and bring more of that intimate and grounded feeling to it. Totally, the only downfall is that a lot of times you need two coats to cover a light paint color. Luckily, our room was small enough that we only needed one gallon of paint. Yeah, and I thought we were for sure gonna go with either like a dark navy or a dark green, but we ended up going with that cracked pepper dark gray because of the wood tones um, that were in the room. Yeah, there was a lot of gray in the trim and in the floor, which really pulled the whole space together with the gray walls. A budget-friendly tip is to clean the switch plates and the vent covers. You have to take them off anyways before painting, so why not refresh them with a little soap and water? Yet yeah, another really useful tip that we got from a paint specialist over at the hardware store was to remove the paint tape before it dries. That way you're getting really clean lines without it chipping when it dries. I was so excited when that desk came. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really nice just to kind of centralize everything into one hub, mm -hmm. center it in the center of the room, and it just made the space feel bigger. We didn't have to walk around that chair. Um, it just felt more intentional. Plus it was really nice that we didn't have to pay for it all at once because we were able to use Sezzle. Right, plus one of my favorite features of that desk is that it has that shelf in the center where we can put the tower of Rishi's computer, yeah. and that's gonna help declutter as well. Yeah. A little over on our budget, but what a big difference some paint and that desk made. I know, I cannot believe how different this room looks. Mm -hmm. People think you need to spend loads of money uh, to refresh a room to make it look good. This is proof that you don't. Yeah, agreed. We pulled some items from around the house to help save us money on decor, and it really just made the space feel a little more cozy, a little more unique, without spending any money. And even just moving things around and reorganizing, maybe repurposing things within the room, so moving the desks around, can by itself just make it feel so much better and so much bigger without having to spend any money at all. As good as this looks by itself, it still looks a little bare. There's some things we can do for the $400 budget. Totally, yeah. A rather inexpensive way to really elevate a room is to add some floating shelves. Mm -hmm. These were a really great way to add some warmth with the lighter wood tones and a good space for him just to put up his books and his knickknacks. That and the rug were obvious choices for our second budget. We picked a rug that had a little bit of red tones to it that kind of tied in that red gaming chair. Plus with rugs, they help dampen some of the sound that's gonna happen in the space. So he's gonna be on video calls, he's gonna be on games, that's, so that rug's gonna help. A couple things that we wanted to think about when we were getting that rug was to make sure that the ply was low enough so that he could roll his chair over it. Um, and secondly, is that the size of it. Right. You don't want anything that's gonna be too small to where your furniture isn't fitting on it. Um, you also don't want anything too big that's gonna completely cover up the room and you're not gonna see into that wood floor. Yep, agreed. Mm -hmm. Overall, this budget is where the room really started to come together. It looks so good. It looks like it has personality. It's way more functional. I think this is a space that Rishi really would have been thrilled with if we had stopped here, but we want to give Rishi that little something extra with a little reading nook and maybe a feature wall. So 
so we centered up the wall to find our center here, taped it, a little mark here. And then right now we're just trying to, or we got our numbered boards, we've got our center board, and we're just trying to make sure it's as straight up and down, as uh, straight vertical as possible. So we're gonna use the... Great. So if this is level could be, we have little spacers that we can make sure they're all evenly spaced out but this will be our guide. So our last budget came in just over $600, mm -hmm. but man, was it worth it. Yeah, we got that $360 chair, brand new for $100. Plus that wood feature wall is my absolute favorite. Totally, totally agree. The best part about it, pretty inexpensive. We were able to just buy the wood and get it cut there. So that was free. And then we were able to use the liquid nail to put it up mm -hmm. so we didn't have to use any tools. Yeah, I was seriously stressing over that wood feature wall. I wasn't sure how we were gonna do it, but we made it happen and it looks so beautiful. It does. And I thought it was so clever that we used the scraps from the feature wall to measure out the distance of each slab. Yeah, that was super clever. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait for Rishi and his wife to see this new space. I know. It's like a office mullet. <laughs> it's, you've got business in the front, party in the back, best of both worlds. He's gonna love it. You're kind of you're kind of right. I couldn't agree more. And to make this even sweeter, our sponsor Fun.com has given us three racing products to gift Rishi during our final episode. Yeah, and we need your help choosing which one to give him. So vote by clicking in the link in the description below and be entered in to win our $200 Sezzle Spend giveaway. To qualify, you must vote, be subscribed to this channel, and leave a comment in the video. Winner will be announced during our April 25th live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern. Rishi! Next time on Sezzle's Spring Refresh Home Office Edition. Are you ready to see your new office? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next episode. Oh, 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 oh.